Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft with your host, Anon Jr. Uh, <laughs> I got something real fun here. Sorry. I, I was caught trying to play with some of the new settings that uh, XSplit seems to have added. <laughs> okay. So, if you saw the tweet announcing the stream, you'll know that today, or if you couldn't tell by the title up on the page, today we're going to work on adding a community smelting array. This design that we are doing a minor riff of is originally built by Waddles. There is the link to the video that he used, or that he built it in, in his uh, single player survival series. And what we're going to do is we're gonna we're gonna house it a little bit different. I did make a couple of small changes to to the rails and the way some things are laid out, just because when I was testing the first array to make sure that I could build it instead of trying to do it from memory, like uh, like like what we saw with the uh, brewing stations back at the base, um, rather than trying to do it from memory. I built the first of what will be three setups in here. So we're going to have an array of smokers already built with a little more power rail than what Waddles used in his video because when I was testing it on some kelp smelting, uh, the the carts were, were running a little weird. Uh, some of it may have been the server. Uh, some of it may have been some of the stuff that was going on. Arcadius was away at the Guardian Farm doing other stuff. And I'll circle back around to that in a little bit. Um, and just for whatever reason, the carts were acting really weird. So rather than try to do a thoughtful, intricate solution, I just threw more power rails at the problem until the until it was solved. And... Um, no, that's not not the not the prettiest way to solve it. Not the most elegant way to solve it. You know what? It's solved. And uh, at this point, that's that's all that really matters. Come on, go to sleep. Of course, you know it turned night right as I was getting ready to stream. Uh, <laughs> okay. You'll also notice the mic is set up a little bit different. I was having problems with the cables that were hanging right under here getting in the way and the uh, some of the elastics on the cage were getting weird getting caught on stuff when I'd swing the mic off to the side it, to uh, to manage that and we'll try this uh, I would prefer a shock mount but uh yeah we'll get to that in a little well we might wander around that topic a little bit later too but so Sorry, I'm meandering. Um, so an array of smokers are going to go here. We're going to duplicate this entire system over here with an array of standard furnaces. And we're going to do it one more time over here with an array of blast furnaces. And then we'll, we'll build up a building around it and try to tidy it up a little bit. Um, I do have some dead coral recently killed. I, you know, I was wandering around. I got some coral off of a wandering trader and decided to see if maybe I could fit the uh, dead texture into this build a little bit so I can vary it up. You can see I was playing with varying things up with the uh, furnace design here. And that, that worked out okay, or started to at least. Um, I probably could have done a little bit more for it, but... Uh, Maybe the next two will be better. I'd go take you over to the Wandering Trader to show you what else he had, but he died in a mysterious fire. His llamas were safe, though. Okay. Uh, before I go too much further, I do want to talk about a couple other things that happened over the weekend. Arcadius made some overhauls to the Guardian Farm. We will stop there at the end of the stream so I can show off a little bit of his work there. And in here, uh, I put a little cover over the uh, potion brewing stations just to, to flatten out the wall a little bit more. It looked really weird, especially being able to see all the redstone behind everything. And I kind of hate that you can still see it here, but um, I'm going to have to find a better home for the, for the box before I do that. 
Uh, what I may actually do is instead of using two double chest uh, fit maybe four or five barrels in here I think the only I think the reason why I didn't do that uh, when I was adding the trapdoors and all that sort of stuff uh, was because this this should show down on the floor and it'd look really weird having the barrel texture as the, that little slab up there in a small section there but uh you know we'll see we, we might find another home for those barrels too also and this is what took up a bulk of my time over the weekend i finally got the mass of farmers from the 1.14 glitch where they just kept breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding i got them moved so i made two little stations i marked which farm i got them out of because some of them might still have the food in their inventory and if I set up, you know, if I try to set up a wheat farm and throw one of these potato guys in there, I, I don't want my wheat farm to suddenly turn into a potato farm because that's what that joker happened to have in his inventory. So, uh, those are all the guys in there that I grabbed out of the potato farm. There are more than a few of them. They were hard to move. Uh, I thought I'd try something simple, like making a little hallway, just pushing them down. That didn't work. I put <laughs> put a little brick uh, guardrail around here, and then uh, threw some rail down on the ground and tried to roll them in there, except they wouldn't stay in there. Uh, so I set it up so that way there was an entrance for me, since players can crouch and they cannot, so you crouch under that to get in there. And you'll notice there's a uh, little bit of glass over here. So I left this opening here. I put the rail through where that crack brick is there. And then had an ejector rail <laughs> right over here. And, and then a solid block to bounce the cart back. So that way uh, they would go through the glass, get ejected out into the room. Since uh, that square right there where he is standing is the only place that they could validly jump to. Uh, when ejected or its partner on the other side of that block where the rail was. And I did the same thing with these guys over here. It went far simpler because I learned from my mistakes the first time around. <laughs> I, that does happen. And um, I have been sitting AFK since I left, uh, since I got up for work about 4.30 this morning. And the rates are pretty close to what they were. Um, just double check. Because every now and again I'd have this weird problem where food would get stuck in the dropper. Um, so, the rates are okay. I, I mean, this is not going to win any awards. It's the, the design back there is built on the old 1.13 way of farming where the villager could plant in a dark enough spot that a player could not in a redstone update would cause the crop to... Uh, or an update near there would cause the crop to pop out of the soil and so it would collect it from uh, some carts there. That no longer works, but there are two hopper chains feeding from where those are anyway. So uh, as these guys farm, the excess from this row here and this row here get picked up by the hoppers since farmland is not a full block. A hopper can pull through there. And uh, I left three in there since... Uh, Three guys over here in the wheat farm? Oh, okay, good. There are still three. I, I, I almost... I don't know. <laughs> you almost saw a live panic attack. Um, so, three guys over here seem to do wonders for the wheat farm. And ever since 1.14, I've not had any problems, any, any bread production. Or, sorry, uh, ever since I removed the beds, which is one of the things I did over the weekend... Ever since I pulled the beds out of the farm, I no longer am getting any bread out of this, which is awesome. I am getting more wheat seeds than I know what to do with. Uh, so I'm going to do what I've been doing with them. And uh, come on, get some bone meal out of it. So I got this little box here for all the uh, bio stuff I don't need or don't want. Feeds it into the hopper, feeds it into that composter. And I get some bone meal down there. Uh, it's not the most efficient. That is certainly not the prettiest. I'm going to do something better with that at a future date and time. But uh, for now, that will suffice. So I got three guys in there doing wheat. It is nothing but hoppers through uh, 
farmland because there wasn't a light based variant at the time I built this and uh, yeah that does very nicely I might yeah, get as mad as you want um, well that's unexpected are we gonna get another okay good I was getting kind of worried there <laughs> all right so yeah and the potato guys don't seem to be doing nearly as good as the carrot guys unless some stuff got stuck in a dropper somewhere. Uh, and again, that's one of those things that, for whatever reason, it sometimes happens. But you know what? I'm happy to be getting some potatoes again. I'm happy to be getting some carrots again. I, I will probably work on a farm redesign at some point in the future. Something that takes better advantage of the... 1.14 farming mechanics. Uh, this works, but it works on accident, not on purpose. <laughs> and uh, also, when I busted out all those extra villagers, I left myself a little opening <laughs> with the gate and this guy here, so that way those guys can't get out. I And uh, the baby zombies can't get in. Uh, I was originally just going to leave this and not bother with the gate, but... Um, I was worried about something getting in here in case I forgot to light something up or something weird happened. Alright, so that, uh, yeah, and moving those guys to most of the weekend. So that happened over the weekend. Um, we've been trying to keep an eye on the iron farm up here, too. Uh, every now and again, for some reason... Every now and again, for some reason, these guys will get stuck on the bed. And we've still got a fourth dude over there that appeared, and I'd really like to do something about that without angering the villagers. Uh, so every now and again, you just gotta kinda come in here and move Fred off into, uh, you know, his watery grave. The uh, golem is about to face the same fate as Gollum into the pool of lava. There he goes. Sad. Sad. Um, I should probably do the same thing to that dude over there. But that's for another day. But I mean, other than occasionally needing to clear off a bed, I really didn't think that the beds were a valid spawn point for them. But, um... Apparently it is. Maybe I missed a block. Maybe there's a ghost block messing something up. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to figure out how that goes. So, uh, we'll save that for another day. But, um, before I forget, let me head back there. Because I want... My phone is going crazy and it looks like a suspected spammer. Sorry, I'm live. Um... This has been absolutely awesome. Uh, oh, <laughs> we are overfull. <laughs> we never had that problem before. Um, I kind of hate that Arcadius went through and redid the collection. Um, I appreciate that he was trying to help, but uh, that, that wasn't that wasn't quite helpful. Um, while I'm here, let me grab all the poppies, and before you get too curious as to why, I'm going to head back over to my base real quick. Come on. Fly! I'm the only one on the server. I put these poor, uh, poor, poor poppies to good use. I really need to get a composter over there at the station. I'm just worried about some uh, some poor villager picking it up then when they shouldn't. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, I can let that run through and collect some more bone meal out of it. I'll have to remember to pack that iron down too. That iron has... oh, that's right. That was the other thing I wanted to do. I had a couple of questions about uh, rates and whatnot for some of the other stuff. 
So this is my melon pumpkin farm. That's after running from 4.30 in the morning till now. Uh, 1815 and that's the left side 430 in the morning till now uh, that's the right side 430 in the morning until now not bad not too bad I mean again it's not gonna win any awards you're not gonna see the Psycraft server adopting this thing because oh it's so productive but for a small server with three players that uh yeah that does more than enough for what we're for what we need. Um, oh, there goes another golem. Uh, yeah, I might have to. That's that's actually making me wonder how much iron we might have lost uh, between last night and now. You know what? Let's go clear out some of those blocks and put them in storage. Just because before I get started, because I know I'm going to be here working in this area for a little bit. So, you know, let's take as many of those as we can carry. <laughs> Not many. And oh. let's just go put those in storage. And then I'll take care of the rest later. Off camera. So I'm not wasting your time. My precious. That would be for the golem, not the golems. Alright, where... Iron, iron, iron. Where, oh, where did the iron go? Where, oh, where can it be? Where did I ask not reserve a spot for raw iron? There's the ores. Oh. She thought we were going to have enough space for that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. That'll at least clear up enough space while we uh, work on our furnace stuff. Alright. So now that all that's out of the way, um, I am going to tell the server that this is a bring your own fuel, although I will... Uh, while I was working on this array and testing stuff out, I smelted up uh, enough kelp to get... kelp to give uh, a full stack of 64 kelp blocks in each of these furnaces. Partly because I wanted to test it, partly so I could get some more fuel. And what I'll probably do is while I'm working on other projects in the area, I'll randomly fly out there, grab some kelp, run it through here. The nice thing is that because kelp is a food product, you can cook kelp in your smoker at an accelerated rate, which is always awesome. All that preliminary stuff out of the way. Let's get back to the building. You know, the building that I intended to start off with before before the AD, ADO iron kicked in. Um, so, underneath those smokers, there is a similar line of hoppers. Thanks to one of the texture packs from Vanilla Tweaks that I uh, tweeted out earlier today at Anon Jr. You can see that these hoppers are all pushing down the line into this double chest in the floor, just like this guy here. And so now we're going to go to our project box. We're going to grab some hoppers. We're going to need more of those before this is done. We're going to grab some ferni, and we're going to go from there. Ferni, furnaces. Kind of like for a night, anyway. We're going to drop our furnaces on top of those hoppers, so that way whatever finishes cooking out of the furnace will drop into the hopper, make its way to this box. We're going to go ahead and put some uh, hoppers into the back of the furnaces for our fuel lines. Oh. And some hoppers into the top of the furnaces to drop in what we are smelting. Okay, good. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and put the other 16 onto the blast furnaces in the back. I wasn't originally planning on doing it this way, but we'll go ahead and build these in parallel. We'll get our blast furnace. And I may, I may take a few, few of these individual and stick them into like a corner somewhere, like 
toss a couple of smokers over there, toss a couple of blast furnaces over there, maybe toss a uh, regular furnace over here somewhere. Uh, just, so, or maybe maybe those two blocks right there will be standalone, just in case you need a small batch job. Like, you don't want to run, you don't want to run the whole array for, you know, six sand. Um, Rayest might, but... <laughs> That would be kind of wasteful on the fuel. And uh, so so to conserve that sort of thing, we'll, we'll probably put a couple of individuals of each tucked into a corner somewhere, just so that way they're available. Although, honestly, for most of the small stuff, we... Arcadius and I have small batch furnace arrays. This is going to be for medium jobs. And a little bit later, we're going to dig a hole in that hill there and put one of the, the stupidly large furnace arrays, uh, probably the one that Iscal85 showed off uh, a month or so ago, maybe two months ago. Um, okay, I need some rail, powered rail, and brick stuff. Where's my rail box? I'm gonna need some powered rail. I'm gonna need some rail. And I'm gonna need some stone brick. I'm gonna keep that handy. I don't need the shovel at the moment, so I'll move that off to the side. Alright. Memory, don't fail me now. Uh, oh, no, that is a uh, that is a stair, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's go all out and let's go ahead and grab our uh, cracked and mossy variants while we're at it. I may go back in and rough them up a little bit more as uh, as we go, or after the fact, between this episode and the next, and I forgot the stairs. Short-term memory for the win. Okay. EDDO butterfly, right? Something like that. All right, let's drop a crack block there. Let's um, Let's get another crafting bench. Just because it never hurts to have a couple of those around. I got some logs around here somewhere. I got some logs in my backpack. Let's use those for now. Alright. There we go, there. Of course, the nighttime is falling. I'm trying to remember why. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I wanted to hide some of the redstone stuff. That's too wide, right? Yeah, that's too wide. And let's grab a nap before we're beset. Because just past the water line, stuff spawns. We didn't get that far in our lighting campaign. We just got the uh, field around here handled. stick with the uh, cracked brick near the furnaces just because you know the idea being there's a lot of a lot of heat and whatnot over there and so it's more likely to be cracked and broken and crumbly and stuff is that a full block there that is a full block there okay I do this try to explain a little bit more as we go, but first, let me, uh, 
No, no. That's a full block. That's got that rail on there. I also wanted to hide all the redstone because I didn't want the inside to be uh, something too ugly. But uh, for the moment, let me open this stuff up. Just so I can reference what's going on in there. Yeah, there's a couple of different designs I could have gone with the input and output. I'm using Waddle's design because it, it just, it works. It works, it's good. torches. Oh. I need... Oh. I don't need the wool. I need the utility and tools, power and parts. I was going to throw some granite into the design mix, but I decided it, nah, that wasn't going to quite work it. Stone torches. I'm gonna need some dust. I forget how much. I'm gonna need at least two levers. And I think the rest I've got in my project box over here. Which <laughs> has a lot of the grass and whatnot that we've collected here. Alright, so basically on this side we're hiding a torch. Powering a block. has a splat of redstone dust on top of it. Yes, that is a technical term, a splat. <laughs> Alright, those are two full blocks on the side of the torch. So that's the second full block. That's the second full block. And then we've got Powered rail as far as it goes because we've got two full blocks on that side. Two. Two. And then we got that going there. We got that going there. Right? Yep. Okay. That's about as far as the power will take it. And I hate the rail get no. <laughs> it gave me nothing but trouble yesterday. And so of course today it'll be just fine. There, right? Yep. So we'll get an upside down stair here. And an upside down stair there. Here. I kind of wish that there was a cracked variant of the of the uh, stair bricks, like uh, yeah. And I kind of wish there was a mossy variant of the bricks, with the way that they with a lot of the blocks and whatnot that they added in the last update. I'm hoping that's a sign that they're going to start putting out stair and slab variants of everything, uh, like. We got all that concrete up there. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, concrete stairs and slabs of all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, I'm, I don't think the the gl not glazed clay glazed terracotta would work that way. Remember, 
when I played the game. It was still hardened clay. All right, uh, what did I do for... That's right, that's right. I got a block, a block, and a blunt of redstone. So we got a block. A block, a block, and, yeah, okay. Block, a block, and a splat of redstone. Because there's going to be two blocks there, right? And one block here. Yeah. And we get the <laughs> or what that was. We got a block, a block, a splat of redstone, and then some more blocks of this away. There we go. Could be at least one solid block. Two solid block. So we're going to need another block there. Probably shouldn't be wasting the crack stone like that, but honestly, it's not like it's that expensive. Guys, there. All right. Yep. I could also use an upside down stair. Actually, that might not be that bad either. Throw an upside down stair, that way it covers up the box from this side. Although I kind of like that you can check on two different jobs from the hallway, so yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll leave that there. Yeah, I'll leave that there. And we'll do that there, we'll do that there. Redstone there. Got the redstone there. So I can then go one. Yeah, no. That's not quite working the way I want, but it'll fix itself here shortly. There we go. Bam. We got some powered rail down this way, and what's going to happen is... Alright, so let's talk a little bit about what we've done so far. We, we've put together some uh, structure around all this. we got some rail running across the hoppers. The powered rail will not lock the hoppers below. They are not powering the blocks around them. It is one of the reasons why powered rail is good. A good way to run power a short distance. Um, like if you want to have an observer down there and then run the quick bit of power to an observer over here. Uh, rail is a great way to do it. A lot better than regular redstone dust because it doesn't power anything around it. So it is a lot more lag friendly and quick. Um, so I got this torch here which is strongly powering this block, which is powering this redstone dust on top of it, which is also powering this block over here. So this powered block and this powered block are powering the rails. When the rail is off, the cart will stop. When you flick the lever, it powers that rail and that rail because the lever is powering this block and it's powering that redstone dust right next to it. So these carts are gonna bounce from powered rail to powered rail. They're gonna bounce off the edge and they're just gonna keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, uh, emptying the contents of the chest mine cart into each of the hoppers as they drag across in a relatively even line. The nice thing is, is that when you flick that lever, it unpowers the rail, which means that when the carts hit the unpowered rail, they stop. So you can let it run as long as you want. I thought about just having continuous carts running, but uh, that can be rather weird um, on the server. Although, my, my <laughs> uh, I might have to find a better way to hide this section here, because turning that 
lever off, depowers that redstone, and causes this guy and this guy to open up every single time. Uh, matter of fact, until I find a better way to manage that, I'll take those off for right now. So I gotta find a better way of hiding that redstone there. I haven't quite decided what that is yet, but uh, of all my concerns, that was the least of them. So, I'm gonna go. Down and down and down and down. Is that it? No, one more. There we go. So we got the railways down. We are done with the rail. We are done with the redstone dust, which is always nice. We, so we can start putting some of the stuff away. We get the rail. We shouldn't need that box anymore. I'll put it in there. I still got to reorganize. I got two two boxes uh, that I've been using for random redstone stuff. One that I kept in the base and one that I keep in my shulker box. and Or in my shulker box. In my ender chest. And uh, yeah. So I've got an odd mix of stuff that I need in both of them. And that's not, that's not, that's not helpful. I got to fix that. It's on the list. Uh, I am probably done with the stairs for now. Because, uh... Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm going to need a lot of stairs for the top. I tried to dress it up because technically all I really need... Here, let me toss this back up in the top corner there. All I really need are these guys here. And what did I call this one? So... This guy is fuel, and this guy is to cook. So I need a fuel. Fuel, so fuel's gonna go there. Fuel's going to go there, and to cook is gonna go there, and to cook going to go there. All right, so technically these arrays are done and dusted. Um, <laughs> I actually thought that was gonna take a little bit longer, but uh, go me. All right. Hmm. Oh. Now to finish dressing them up a little bit so it's not quite as barren. Uh, I really thought about just, you know, leaving it here like this and going, Okay, rest, do your thing. Alright. Mokers. Burn eye. But it asked for an eye. say we take a small detour I am going to need to start building with a lot of that stuff I, I may actually need to put this already uh, no we're okay and cracked drop that in there real quick and what I'm going to do is now uh, I don't need the oak signs 
for the moment. I'm gonna clear out my inventory a bit. Oh, and uh, one of the things that I worked on over the weekend was setting up an awesome crossbow. That took a little while to get, especially the quick charge and piercing. Uh, piercing I got off the table, quick charge, took a few tries to get one off the table, and then I combined them together and got the rest from uh, books I had laying around. I do not want to go wasting those kinds of rockets. I mean, I'm limited on gunpowder and stuff. Ooh, uh, I was hoping that would have been a little bit further grown. All right. I wanted to get some fuel going while I'm over here doing stuff, so let me harvest a bunch of what we got over here. I know, I know. We're this far in, and we never actually got around to um, setting up an actual kelp farm. Every time I talk about it, Arcadius goes, yeah, but we got a kelp farm. Yeah. This is, uh, while it is technically a kelp farm, not what I had in mind, not what I was talking about. But I don't know if you've noticed, I, I'm big on the automation. I am big on trying to get things as automatic as I can get them. I eventually want to get all my farms going into a fully automatic sorting array with input for shulkers that I fill with random crap as I go about my projects. Uh, I may even try to set up a wall of um, you know, the, the shulkers that I Project shulkers, that kind of thing. I'm gonna need more of that. But uh, that is a half-formed idea that I probably have not adequately explained, and I'm not sure you'd get what I wanted off of that one. So uh, we'll go from there. But uh, each of the three of us on the Coffee Craft server have our have our thing. I tend to do far more of the automation. Redstone Arcadius does a lot more of the exploration and that sort of stuff. He's the guy that gets restless about two episodes into a season and immediately starts looking for the, uh, the temples and the guardian farms and the different biomes and um, really, really going far and wide and restless. Ray asked Lake's making things pretty. And building intricate things. Generally not redstone though. Just things that are on their face pretty. Uh, that's partly why a lot of the community builds were made by rest because uh, she was far better with that than I do. Hopefully, uh, because we're in the area, letting this, stu uh, this stuff will grow a little bit more. As, as you saw by all the blocks, I, I harvested a whole bunch of this for the uh, fuel that we had going. Creative world for a combination sugarcane kelp farm that I might try to put together in the community area just because I know Reyes doesn't have a sugarcane farm at this juncture. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a public source of sugarcane just because. Uh, also, because the farm that Arcadius built over by his uh, mob dropper near the guardian farm. Uh, while that is definitely producing uh, gunpowder, it doesn't seem to be producing as much sugar cane as it should. So I'd like to have something that's over here uh, when we're over here. 
because usually somebody's in the area, particularly since our bases are so close to the community area. There's almost always somebody close enough that the farms in town have a chance to run. Um, I decide if I want to collect all this first or if I want to go run to bed real quick and then come back and collect the rest. I do not want to go try to lay down near a zombie infested bed. And that is right there by the swamp. Come on. Alright, let's try our luck. Oh, there goes another goal. Quick, quick, quick. curious where the uh, spider spawned from. Oh, it's probably in here. I gotta work some lighting into this design. I might put something into the floors or maybe into these guys here, but yeah. Uh, Alright, I definitely gotta get some lighting into this. Well then. Or maybe I'll put it on, on top here. Alright, so for a quick rundown of how this works. To cook in the two cook box. If you need to stock up any more fuel, put fuel in the fuel. Put more fuel in the fuel box, and then uh, flick the lever and let it run. It's going to distribute out the kelp as it does its different passes, and I'll let that smelt up some more kelp while we finish up the decorations to get these looking pretty much the same across the board or as close to the same as I can manage uh, let's see so those are slabs because we do have do have mossy slabs some of those. I might do some more a little bit later. Unfortunately, there's no cracked anything, which is a missed opportunity. And we get some stone brick slabs there. I'm sure we'll need some more before too long. I'll also need stairs for up top there, but for the moment. I need to th start throwing some slabs just over the redstone. fails, move the redstone. going out to both streams 
It looks like it is. I know Mixer changed a few things and... Just because, let's throw here. Oh wait, no, I can't do that there. So it would help to have those guys handy. Just because I'm weird about how I'm organized. Hmm. You'll probably notice that if you, when, not if, when, because it really should be when. When you check out Waddle's video, he doesn't have two blocks of powered rail off to this side. Or two blocks off to this side. At least not as far as I could tell. And I ended up adding them because I was having a weird problem with them not evenly distributing. And the ends were getting full more so than the others. And it seems like be if you have a block here instead of back there, it gets just far enough to technically collide with that block to bounce back. But it never quite left this block here. So it would end up dropping three in the end. So it would come over, it would drop its one, it would technically go over to this block, collide into that one, and then start bouncing back. But since it was still technically over this block as well, it would drop one, two, three, <laughs> and then keep going down. Also on this side, when I had this block stopping at one block further where the carts are now, what would sometimes happen is when they would stop, they would stop just uh, just enough onto this block that they had, that there was enough hanging over here that things would just keep dropping into that last dispenser. Um, so if I wanted to top off that kelp block, I'd hit stop and it would park itself just far enough over that hopper that it would keep feeding what kelp was in there <laughs> into that first furnace. And, uh, yeah, by extending it out, that means that even if it doesn't stop completely and wholly on top of this block here, it's not feeding into another hopper over here. So if you run into those programs, those programs, if you run into those problems, that is one way of solving them. All right, yeah, that's the way I got that there. All right, double checking. Come on there. Use the right block. Use your blocks. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Thinking and placing blocks. Not always my strong suit. <laughs> All right. And what did I do? I've got... Set of full blocks on top of that one, right? Yep. There's um. There's my slab. There's my block. And I've got half slabs running across the top of that. I, I really wanted to provide a cover and a little bit of blockage for um. Those uh, minecarts there. Oh, I'm thinking about the minecarts. Let's uh. Yeah, okay. The two cook has been distributed. Gonna keep doing its thing. There. Um, I wanted to provide a little cover, and these guys are just tall enough that a full block on top of them causes problems. Ask me how I know. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't that didn't quite work out so well. standing here. Go ahead and get those guys there. That was not the intended result. 
Why am I making this hard? slabs and yeah I did throw a couple of andersite slabs in there didn't I stick to a grayish palette on this guy and uh, so far most of what I built is monochromatic and gray like my castle like the trading hall although <laughs> part of it is we have an embarrassment of stone and I don't I don't like letting them sit there going to waste and quite frankly this is a cooking array it feels like it should be that kind of um, that kind of something. Come on, can I go to sleep now? There we go. Alright. Now that we got the parkour course set up, I mean, <laughs> it seems that way, doesn't it? how I'm making this happen in this. This is part of the crafting tweaks that we got off of the Vanilla Tweaks website. So if you like some of what you see, definitely go check them out. Um, they tweeted out a reminder of what they're doing or what the which one of the Vanilla Tweaks the Hermits are using. So if you want to keep up with what uh, Hermitcraft is doing as far as data packs and crafting tweaks and that sort of thing, you can download a pack very similar to the one that they're using. I've got links to the three packs that we are using. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, I just finished that whole thing and not a darn one was an Andersite slab. All right, guess what? That's just the way that one's gonna be. that out of a hopper all right yeah so that and yeah let's throw one more in here right? there we go all right uh, don't let me forget to get that out of the hopper later and we'll throw some of those guys in there Put a couple of normal ones in there we'll throw another normal one there mossy one there more. Oh. Those are the full blocks, aren't they? Oh. Yep. I 
was the blast furnace side, wasn't it? Although, it probably won't be in the... Oh, guess it will. Okay. That one's right. Right? Right. But I saw it. That guy. There we go. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna put a mossy one there. We're gonna put a couple mossy ones there. We're gonna put one more normal one there. And now we got that one all right. We can also come in here. Look at that. That hasn't been that long either. Because they are the dried kelp, as it is, is technically a food. Goes pretty quick. So if I want to take those guys there and that there. Okay. And uh, I'll let those run and let it start distributing the kelp blocks across the way. Alright, I'll work on the rest of the design, although I think that was it short of the stairs and trapdoors, right? Yeah. Yep. I just need stairs around the edges and trapdoors across the back. Neat. Alright, pack as many of those back as I can. Pack as many of those back as I can. Pack all those back. I'm half tempted to uh, grab one more normal one there. All right. Put a mossy one there so that way I can go one more and I don't have random slab number 87 hanging around in my inventory. Let's see, is that finished distributing stuff? Yes. We should have 21, 21, 21, and 22, 22, 22. Yeah, because it started running, running out as it finished up the last patch. to just end up being a bring your own fuel kind of deal so as uh as you smelt it or as you need it smelt it although the other thing too is we are eventually going to get a log farm in here because again we the ultimate goal is to get that giant furnace of doom type deal going probably in the hill here somewhere and to make that happen, we need a lot of iron, hence getting the iron farm working again. And we're going to need a lot of wood. And uh, so that's going to happen once we get the uh, lumber farm together. I had started building a wood farm design that I really liked. Except for one small asterisk. Um... About halfway into building it, I realized that it was birch only. I like birch. He's a great character in the Mark Death series. <laughs> Wait, no. Sorry, wrong birch. Um, I'll, I'll explain that one a little bit too, I guess. Um, but 
we we end up using a lot of different uh, a lot of different lumbers and whatnot. And we want a we really just need one tree farm to rule them all. So the ill mango design I was originally gonna do that is great and small and efficient and compact. Um, only does birch. So there is a design by Nimbomb that we are going to build instead. And I might have to make that happen over a long weekend because it is big, it is complicated. And there's a couple of things that he does because it was originally designed in 1.12 or 1.13. So there are some blocks available now that were not available then. And I'm, I'm thinking in particular of the, um, the, the lectern. Because there is a variable, there's a variable selector that you need to hit uh, so that way redstone signal strength of one thing goes out for certain types of trees and redstone of a different signal strength goes out for other trees and uh oh hi you got anything useful actually i might do the tube call just because uh I got a couple of those guys. I might, uh... Because I still got to lay down some more of the coral. Come here, dude. And I might like that texture better. You know what else? These guys trade in leather. a shame that he died under such mysterious circumstances. <sighs> Although that leather tree was really nice. I, 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 we ought to do more of that kind of thing again. Right. Uh, I'll use that in my junk collection box for the moment. I don't really have a good one. Yeah, when I was building out the lake, some of the dead coral worked as a great texture block in the bottom for some of the other gray areas, and I might rework the, the floor and wall a little bit using some of the dead coral variants. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to work as well as I would like, but uh, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a shot. Either way, I'll probably use it as I continue working on the lake, if nothing else. Tempted to slab up the top of that so that way nothing spawns on the roof and then I just gotta worry about putting some lighting into the floor or something like that. I could always, uh... Hmm. Yeah, no. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, you know what? Let's just carpet the, the top of that because I don't want to throw another slab and make that any bigger than it is. Uh, do I have one carpet? Is that enough gray? That might actually be enough gray. If not, I got some more over in the base, but... Uh, Jumping skills, yo. Alright. Are you kidding me? Oh, twice.
perfect scaffolding. The best scaffolding is the one you have in your hand. Alright, let's just carpet this up. I may go light it up a little bit better later, but for now, this will do the job. I don't want stuff spawning in, and oh yeah, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a lot more. Alright, um... Back to the base, then. Oh, what do you think of the uh, banner design? Arcadius put that together. He had a couple of different designs. If you look back at the streams when you see me coming and going, you'll see a couple of different banner designs hanging up over here. Arcadius put all of those together and asked me which one I wanted. Uh, even, though, even though my play style does not fit the, uh, the appropriate Jedi uh, skill persona. I'm not sure how you want to do that or how you want to frame that, but uh, either way, it ain't me. But, uh, got more gray over in the box here. I think I do. No. All right. This should be enough. Something very meditative about carpeting an area like this. Kind of hate that it ruins some of the textures from the top, but honestly, nobody's going to be up here. There's not going to be a reason to be up here. Are you kidding me? Um. Precious, maybe organics. No, it would be in precious because the colored wool is with all the other colored blocks. Oh, are you the gray I'm looking for? Yes, you are the gray I am looking for. That is definitely more than I need. But at this point... Yeah. Alright. Wrong direction. Turned around. We've been kind of tossing buildings down a little haphazardly. And we might end up moving this guy somewhere back a little bit. At least not right behind the post office. Or we might move the post office and slide that guy up front. Uh, have not decided yet. But uh, we're going to try to get some paths and roads and things. And definitely season one is going to have a little more uh, city planning. Yeah, city planning is probably the best way to think about it. Uh, we've got at least one person that we're planning on adding in in season one. We've kind of sort of talked about a time frame, but nothing... Nothing's etched in stone just yet. It depends on a few different things. So season one is still going to be a go at least through December. Just because we, we got a bunch of different things that we need to do as a group. And while I won't speak for them, I, I would feel a little bit more comfortable myself. Um... If I could get to a point where I'm finally uh, producing short form episodes, like I would desperately, desperately like to start getting some regular episodes, some 20 minute type stuff, easier to follow, quick and quicker and to the point, uh, cutting out the rambly bits. <laughs> 
and uh, there, there's a few other things that I would like to do too. Um, some of which I'm not sure if it's going to ever come to fruition. Like, uh, I definitely am planning on doing some redstone tutorial type stuff. But no idea if that will ever come to be. And you know what? Let's think about this. Yeah. That wasn't quite what I wanted, but I'll take it. Guess I shouldn't have put all that carpet away, huh? Come on. And every now and again, my trackball will do stuff like that. Because it hates me. That's what I was going for on the other side. I put it away. Why wouldn't I put it away? There we go. That works better. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do some lighting in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those guys in there. And you know what? Let me go. I've got uh, a light. sure if I want to throw some lanterns in there to get a uh, 1.14 vibe or if I want to just throw some glowstone or sea lanterns in the floor I could also see doing some end rods let me uh, you know what let's play with that a little bit I was actually tempted to do something like that but I wouldn't be able to put the trap doors Oh, that's okay. That works over there anyway. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't be able to put the trapdoors on the back if I did that. I guess it's going to be something in the floor, either glowstone or sea lanterns. I like the solid texture on the sea lanterns better than I like the texture on the glowstone. That's not going to work. Let's, um... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I didn't do a lot of those. Iron. Our iron farm wasn't working. <laughs> uh, can I hang that off of there? No. Did I just, like, toss one right there? Throw one right there? I mean, I could do that. some glowstone. not exactly the prettiest solution I've ever seen either. We 
definitely need to do some lighting though. Uh, hmm. Kind of like the arch. I really do. So I was thinking of keeping this building kind of low and squat anyway. Ponder this for a minute. And what I may do is I may just throw the glowstone down uh, where it's at for the moment. Just so that way hey, I've got a... Uh, I've got something there to work with. Try not to overproduce on the uh, stairs. Because the slabs and the full blocks we can recycle pretty easily. But uh, these guys on the other hand, they're great when you need them and right up until you don't need them. They're not running all the way to the overhang there. This guy running across the overhang here. And what I'll probably do is when the wall comes in, I'll get some more of these guys going the other way so we get the same arch running all the way around. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six more. Six more. Six more until I go to build a couple more arches. And then I'll count out what I need then. Awesome. Oh, I forgot about those two guys up there. <laughs> Alright, they'll get to use. Not to worry. And let's carpet that real quick. I'm going to put a roof on top of it to cover up the carpet. I don't know what yet. I'd like to finish building up the uh, floors and the wall first. But I don't want stuff spawning on here while I try to figure out what I want to do with this guy. That sounded crunchy. Alright. And while I don't like that lighting, I think it will at least do the job. Uh, let's see, let's go. So. Light level 10. Yeah. Not, it gets to 9 over in the edges, and that is. That is. Definitely good enough for me. So let's, uh, yeah. One, two, three. There, right. one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, we drop some glowstone to light that up. Alright. There we go. One, two, three. And the fourth one over by the boxes. And that's how we know we got it right. We throw some, throw some glowstone there. We throw some carpets over this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that might be the way to go. Throw a couple of carpets over in this area here, make it look like we got a tattered rug in a couple of spots. Because um, I don't want to carpet the entire floor. Okay, well, maybe I want to carpet the entire floor. Then I don't have to worry about texturizing it. But, uh, <laughs> two, three, oh, and four. It's ugly, but it works.
So I'll be able to add one more to each row, one more to each row, and almost one more to most rows. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that filled up. I think, uh, let that run for a minute. stone and all that uh, exposed? I don't know. Oh, I thought I had more than two of those. Oh, because of the sign. <laughs> that would have been uh, useful to remember. because of the uh, trap doors. Yeah, I might have to play with that. Uh, I might have to uh, go back to the carpet farm and, uh, and put together a wide array of black and gray and that sort of stuff and see what comes out of that. But that that's an idea to play with. Or maybe I'll just do a patchwork of uh, gray and black all the way around. The idea being that it was originally one color and just use and work have kind of uh, stained and faded and variously affected the different uh, the different color the different colors yeah I just need two more blocks and I'll, I can take care of the those last two all right well it is 7:30. We got our three furnace arrays built. We just don't have them completely decorated. Um, yeah, I'm definitely taking down the um, the trap doors. Having the uh, the carpet cover up the glowstone in the floor is a lot more important than. Uh, and covering up the redstone. The redstone makes it feel a little less cla <laughs> that, that makes it feel a little less claustrophobic back here too. I'm gonna have to check all those hoppers for uh, trap doors too. not going to be in there, or at least it shouldn't be. It shouldn't have fallen that far in. But I'll check just because. It's that one time you don't check that that's when, that's when it all goes wrong again. Alright, um, yeah, 
I'll probably finish this build up over the weekend. Uh, depends. I'm not sure if the shop that I'm working at is closed for Labor Day or not. If it is closed for Labor Day, I'm going to work on Nembom's Wood Farm because that looks like a very complicated build that's going to take a couple of days to do it justice. Like a couple of days of dedicated focus and nothing but watching, watching, get the video going on my monitor over here and, <laughs> and the game going over here and, uh, and yeah, referencing, cross referencing back and forth with as much focus as possible and hopefully with Rayest and Arcadius uh, nearby to go, hey, could you go grab me? Hey, could you, could you check on for me? Uh, and doing that kind of deal. But uh, I will leave all these materials over here because I will probably need them for finishing the building over the weekend. I'll leave most of that stuff here, although I'm going to take my lighting box and put that back in the ender chest. And I'm going to take my backpack with me because i got other stuff I want to do with that. What I really want to do before signing off is I want to show off a little bit of what Arcadius has been working on. Here, let me just toss that in there for now. I'll sort it all later. Come on. I'm the only one here. Alright, and this is going to require going all the way... Oh, that's right. I left that out. <laughs> this is going to require going all the way out to the Guardian Farm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess those guys... Alright, those guys despawned too. While I was AFK over here, part, I set up this portal such that uh, any zombie pigmen that wandered in, their only valid path was over here into this pit trap. And to help encourage them to walk this way, I keep putting two turtle eggs over here. And I don't know if the eggs are despawning. If they're breaking. Or if Arcadius is coming over here and pulling a trick on me. Uh, the zombie pigmen cannot span the gap because the trap doors are there. They think they can walk towards the egg. That's part of why the room is as big as it is. So it looks like they can walk over here and jump on top of the eggs. There's enough blocks of air above it that they feel like they can do that. So that collects all the zombie pigmen instead of having them wandering about my base because I absolutely hate them wandering around my base. I'm kind of picky about stuff like that. Uh, that's why I got the trapdoors across all my portals to, uh, to keep that sort of stuff to a minimum. Uh, Reyes doesn't. And Arcadius. Uh, Yeah, he just leaves his stuff wide open. Although, I think he's got a set of trapdoors across it now on the other side. Um, somebody might have accidentally put a bunch of chickens in the nether. <laughs> I, I don't know who would do such a thing. <clears throat> Yikes. And uh, they, they seem to crawl under his barrier. So every now and again, he'll find two or three more chickens in his base because they wander in. He, he keeps thinking that he's completely sealed this nether hub off and uh it's not there's a couple of openings that you can still get through and uh yeah that, that's one of those things that we go around and around about now while we're on our way here if you if you watched my twitter you'll know that one of the other things i spent a fair chunk of time this weekend working on was server crashing it seems that somebody, <coughs> Arcadius, um, decided to AFK by the spider farm and then go take a shower so the spiders could collect because he wanted the wool. Which is fine, except for the part that... Um, uh, how to put this gently... He took so long that a more than marginal number of spiders accumulated over there. So that when he took one good whack at them and killed the bunch, or at least as many uh, as the uh, Bane of Arthropods sword would allow, 
Um, the the combination of spiders and XP orbs lagged the server out to the point that it crashed. And then he'd log in and it'd crash again. He'd log in and it'd crash again. He'd log in and it'd crash again. And he kept doing that over and over and over again. And, <laughs> and finally I had to tell him, dude, please, please stop. Stop logging in. Um, yeah, those guys. You, you could really be somewhere else and I'd be far, far happier. So I had to uh, learn some command line magic and come on over here just outside of the chunks and do a couple of quick commands to kill both the cave spiders and the XP orbs. It seems that when you have 1,600-ish XP orbs floating around, plus a few hundred cave spiders, it can cause the server to lag out all sorts of stuff. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Things look a little different, don't they? Arcadius moved the mosaic up here to this level, which is where he'd originally wanted it before anyway. Uh, I've got to find... I think he's only got the one entrance over there. I might see if he wants to work in another entrance that way. Um, although he might have... Yeah, it looks like he moved the... Disposal? No, I moved the disposal. <laughs> Alright, maybe I need a cup of coffee. If you would like to donate a cup of coffee, live.anonjunior.com help keep the server admin conscious. Okay. Uh, and now he's got this area down here where he went and did a lot of hunting for quartz. Got a nice little aquarium going down here with some conduits and a beautiful design. Uh, and it is looking nice. We had an interesting time underneath some of this quartz here are some uh, slime, are, are some golems because as the second he started ripping up the uh, the carpet that was under the mosaic that kept the uh, slime, yeah, see these guys? The, we marked off the slime chunks in case we ever decided to come back and build a farm. Um, he just left, he just started spawning in about five or six golems to keep the slimes off his back while he was ripping stuff up and building stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, these guys are still working alright. I have run into one interesting problem where, uh, items are coming through so fast that every now and again we'll get some crystals and shards that end up in the junk box here. It's not that often. But it does happen, and uh, since someone, <coughs> Arcadius, decided to change the killing chamber, so instead of entity cramming, um, he's got a little bit of lava up there that does some fire damage to him to get him out faster. Um, we now end up with a lot of cooked cod, because of course. So... There is that part two. Uh, I would add another column for cook cod instead of the random drops. And, uh... <laughs> but, uh... I, I built the, the, the trash pit a little too close. And in retrospect, if I, if I were really thinking about that, instead of a double chest, I would have done a double trap chest. That way, it did not start, uh, it wouldn't, opening the chest would lock the hopper, so stuff would not start pulling out of here until you closed the chest, like, so that's your, that, that's your safety check. That's your check to make sure that, uh, <laughs> that you really did want to throw it away, because the second you start tossing stuff into here, guess what? It gone. It's gone quick. But yeah, your bog standard item filtering. I kind of wondered if I moved this back a little bit, if it would give enough lead in into the hoppers. But um, I remember somebody talking about how 
you would still end up with that anyway. So what I might do is I might go ahead and um, increase the number of filter fish so we don't need as many of the crystals and shards and whatnot. Um, yeah. And that way the hoppers will accept more of those items before it starts overflowing into the next one and the next one and the next one. And, uh, yeah, and rock on. If we got any rock out, of course we got rock out. And did I use English or British? F I L T R E. Filter fish. Because one of the things we can do is we can increase the number of filter fish, which will decrease the number of raw items we need in the placeholder for what we're filtering for. should mean that we'll start uh, picking up more of these guys so if we go And I could probably bump that up to 5 and leave that at 21. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. See how that goes, and if we run into any more problems with uh, items ending up in overflow that aren't overflow, yeah, more of these guys, and uh, we're actually going to start keeping them. One of our near term goals is to bring a couple of fishermen down here, and so that way we can start trading the cod and some of the other fish drops. Uh, with them and uh, yeah that guy's new too isn't he cute still trying to figure out what's going to go on that wall over there but uh yeah so that's what's been going on on the server all right so not too bad today we got another project done we got a smelting array finished we just need to um we just need to get the building around the array fix that'll probably happen over the weekend if it's a short weekend if it's not a short weekend then that'll get pushed back to maybe the next the next stream um, if it is a long weekend you should see a lumber farm if not not sure what's going to happen but it's not going to be that that's right he did say that we've got this room back here to build in if i wanted to set up any farms it should be over here uh, I might move a sugarcane farm from the monster dropper over there. Or set up a smaller scale one. And he's got his cactus farm behind the wall there. And this should be, yeah, his little dye station. Oh, and that's the maintenance hatch. Those guys, they were, uh, they were on patrol down here to handle the slimes that were spawning over that way. Sometimes they did their job admirably. Sometimes they stood there and looked iron. All right. Actually, I'm okay on those. I don't need to replace them. But so I'm just random, <laughs> rambling aimlessly as we go about the uh, the exit here. I am going to find a safe-ish place to stand. I hope is over here. <laughs> and uh, you know, let me get that gorgeous thing in there wave goodbye and let's see if this is going to work the way I think it is Ooh, okay that is good to know alright this is where I say thank you and um, 
I appreciate y'all watching along. If you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer and you want to catch the whole thing or the, you, you just want to catch a replay of past streams or whatnot because you heard something that got mentioned and you want to see it, the uh, YouTube description is in the link below or in the description below. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. And if you haven't already subscribed, you'll get notified when I upload more of these stream archives. If you want to watch the stream live, there should be a link in the description below. And um, if you want to support the channel, live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can donate or tip or whichever, whichever one makes you feel better. Uh, honestly, I'm trying to get this set up so it's a value for value deal. If you got value out of what you saw on the show, on the stream, please give a little bit of that value back. If you didn't, then, you know, don't worry about it. Um, if nothing else, send a cup of coffee my way. <laughs> you can see that I could clearly use just a little bit more coffee to uh to keep a little more coherent and as we go i also plan on getting a patreon up in the coming months uh by the end of the year i want to have a solid production schedule for shorter produced content so so shorter episodes of this sort of stuff you'll you'll get to see the furnace array go up uh just the quick cuts and quick explanations the 20 minute version instead of the two hour version and um, other projects like that. I'd also like to start a Redstone series uh, in a different manner than some of the other ones, partly because I think a different approach might help and partly because you never really know something until you teach it. And I, I'm kind of reaching that point where I can only absorb so much before putting it into action. And by putting together a tutorial series, I'm hoping that I can put into action what I'm trying to learn and therefore understand it better. After this past weekend's escapades with learning commands in a hurry, I may instead of or in addition to, depending on what time allows for, I may start working on a series learning the uh, commands, what they do, how they work how you would use them, why you would use them in a particular situation. Uh, and again, mostly that's because if I have to work to prepare the material to put it together in a coherent presentation, I will therefore learn it better myself. This would be, even though I am new to this game, this is why I would recommend that you also Try to put together some put together some redstone tutorials, put together some command block tutorials, put together some of that sort of stuff because the act of trying to put that together will help improve you. That that is a small part of why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Part of it too is because I, I've gotten so much out of the videos and streams that other people have produced. You, uh, my subscriptions should be public, so you should be able to see some of the people that I've been learning from on various topics, and I, I need to update the uh, sub list because I've got my private account that I do the actual watching on, and then I've got this account that I actually publish to, and um, I need to keep the, the subscriptions in sync. Um, anyway, sorry. Small digression. Uh... That, that that is the uh, that is the image of a, a train of thought being derailed. Avert your eyes. Thank you. If you give during the stream, that's what that box up there is for. Hopefully, we'll get to the point where we get enough people watching that uh, we might see a couple of names pop up there. If you would like to be one of those names, if you would like to have that opportunity, or if you just want to watch along as this goes live and chat. I, I do have uh, the restream chat open on the window over here, so it should, it's supposed to show me the, uh, the chat from Twitch and from Mixer, so that way I can see them both on the monitor next to me, and, and we can have a conversation, ask questions, find out a little bit more. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't be afraid to use that comment section down there. I do keep tabs on that. Uh, I do work 40 hours a week, so it's not going to be an immediate reply. But I will, I will get to you. I promise. And um, yeah, all right. So 
Tuesdays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Join me here on Twitch or Mixer, whichever one you like. And I have another series that I am streaming on Thursdays called Games Revisited. Right now we're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And if that sounds interesting, if you want to look at a game of yesteryear and get that good old nostalgia feeling, or see the nostalgia that everybody, you know, why is everybody talking about this game? I mean, beyond the fact that there might be a trilogy movie based on it coming out in the relatively near future. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> then come watch on Thursdays. Those archives are also available on the YouTube channel. So thank you. Have fun. Enjoy. And I hope to see you next time.